All right, so welcome to your stimulus check update. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you subscribe to this community, you know, then welcome back. And if you're not, then consider subscribing today. It's free. All right, so in this channel, I know you tuned in because you want to know one thing. You want to know through the midst of all this COVID, through the midst of jobs shutting down, through the midst of economy just coming to a halt, everybody inside. You want to know where is the money? Where's the money to the people? For years, taxpayer money is taken out of your check. If you're a working person, I'm a working person. You're a working person. You probably own a business. You, you probably, you, you're an entrepreneur. You, you're just in the, in the national economy. You want to know one thing through the midst of all this stuff shutting down. Where is the money? You want to follow the money. If you're looking for a channel that's going to keep their eye on the ball, the money ball, you want to know where the money to the people, to the American people is not the money to states and local governments but the money to the people if you're looking for where the money to the people is then you found the right channel the stimulus check lighthouse alert community that's right come on in we're gonna be accurate we're not clickbaiting we're telling you exactly where the money is because we're following it and we're gonna update you every day all right so well today we'll cover the current state of the stimulus relief plan negotiations president trump signals to go huge and get a deal done of course and a new greater 1.8 trillion proposition is taking place today and the problem solvers caucus members give insight to what's going on now president trump signified that the stimulus settlements are working out and tweeted for mnuchin and pelosi to go huge you know don't have no kind of setbacks and just make it happen so this happened simple now since today we do not have the details of the new proposition that Mnuchin has been given permission to present however from what I've read in a few different sources it ought to be about 1.8 trillion dollar offer and it needs to include stimulus check direct to people individuals joblessness assistance through the end of the year and rental and mortgage support you know eviction moratoriums for those that are behind it's just remarkable i'm so ecstatic to to see that the white house and the republican side have actually shown up with an offer that's being put toward nancy pelosi now the new greater numbers came after president trump had a call with the leading republican leaders telling them to make a big offer a bigger offer now remember this begun at a one trillion dollar offer then it went to 1.5 trillion dollars then 1.6 trillion dollars and now they have actually gone up another 200 billion to 1.8 trillion dollars this ought to capture some attention and i'm hoping it will get this thing done because as a lot of you guys are saying and a lot of you guys understand this thing must have been done back at the end of july it should have been done and now we've practically here now past the middle of october larry kudlow who remains in the white house cabinet stated on an interview this morning or last week that president trump has allowed to advance a modified offer by steve mnuchin and that he is ready to do a deal now larry kudlow has actually seemed more positive about a stimulus deal than i have actually seen him look in numerous weeks to pass he just seemed to beat up like nothing was going to happen you know like he tried to drum it up but today he seemed extremely positive about the deal and what will be inside the offer so it was great to see him have some optimism so it looks like the stars are beginning to align to get this next stimulus plan done before the election that's what we're hoping for that it gets done before the election now i was starting to worry that we wouldn't see anything because of different things that i was reading in you know different uh, articles online but as of today, things seem to be heading in and in a direction that seems like things are going to get done and cash out to, to people. People going to get cash. Now, I do need to advance something here or put something out that I view as a potential obstacle. Now, 
in this community, everybody understands that we don't bull crap or mess around. So this is a legitimate issue. And I believe a hurdle that will have to be jumped. Now, keep in mind that a few weeks back when it was believed that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would try to impeach President Trump a second time. And she stated he's not worth it. No, we're not going to do that. We're concentrated on a stimulus plan right now. Well, now she was calling to conjure up the 25th Amendment to have the governmental authority stripped from President Trump and have that power and authority transferred to Vice President Mike Pence. There's not a lot of thinking behind this, but she is stating that she believes that President Trump is unsuitable to run the country now that he has COVID-19, right? But of course, that's changed at this point, depending on when you listen to this. Now, you know, this also based on a chain, the chain of authority, the chain of command or the chain of authority puts Nancy Pelosi one action closer to presuming the governmental authority herself. That's what she's trying to do. Now, there would be some skin in the game for what she's attempting to do. However, again, however, again, you know, I'm simply presenting what's really happening so that you you know, so that you, you guys know. So this would put Mike Pence, if they have the ability to pass this, which I do not believe that they will, that would put him in line. And after that, it would put her second in line. Now, I think when Senator Chuck Schumer said, whatever's on the table and we'll do anything to have our way, I think he wasn't kidding. You know, it appears like now they're stating we're not going to impeach him, of course, right? That's what they're stating right now. Now, we're simply going to remove all of his authority and power and give it to somebody else and then of course after that somebody else which is Mike Pence then they're trying to assume authority now the one thing that I immediately believe was this seems a bit insulting to state that anybody who's gotten COVID is mentally unsuited I mean think about what they're saying you know of course they're just trying to get their way but think about what they're saying you know we're not trying, trying to take sides or parties right here but we're just looking at what's actually happening now I believe that was pretty insensitive but I'm going to leave it up to Washington at this moment but i would like to hear from what you guys think so let me understand in you know the comment section do you believe that this is a waste of time trying to strip president trump of his governmental authority with only about three weeks left before the actual presidential election or do you believe that this is just a power grab or thrust from nancy pelosi now let me understand you know in the comment section now, i'm not going to provide an opinion at this point right now i'm not gonna say nothing i just want y'all to tell me in the comment section but i I would like to understand what you think, what y'all believe. You know, my most significant worry is this is just another diversion for not getting to the stimulus package itself and not getting a deal done and ending the negotiations by coming up with something. You know, can't y'all just get along to, you know, get some kind of deal done? Now, the other thing that's very irritating to me is this is simply more of our tax dollars going towards political games. You see what I'm saying? So whether you're a Democrat or Republican, we're not taking parties on this channel, but this is your tax cash, your tax dollars that's being used for these political video games. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me understand what you think, you know, by leaving it in the remarks in the comments. Now, as a favor to me, would you mind giving this video a like? You know, it's free. And that way YouTube will share it with others. And also it's just me investigating and doing these types of videos if they're valuable to you or not. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have actually been doing this for a number of months and I've ended up being less trusting of what I hear from both sides. I'm talking about Republican and Democrat. Now, the White House and Nancy Pelosi, all of them, you know. So I did some research study from the top two individuals in the Issue Solvers Caucus. Since I wanted to speak with the Democrat and a Republican politician that interact and hear what their viewpoint is on this next stimulus plan, you know, and package actually occurring before the election. So I searched for an interview in between, you know, Agent Josh Gottemeyer of New Jersey on the Democrat side and Tom Reed, a Republican from New York City on the Republican side. Now, Agent Gottemeyer stated, don't let politics get in the way of what's finest for you and your households, businesses and neighborhoods. He also stated it would be unconscionable to leave the American individuals and people without the help they need right now. Now, what he's referencing is if they don't do something before the election or even worse, if they wait up until after the integrator aeration portion, you know, of the election, he he's stating that it's unconscionable and it is actually wrong, you know, to kind of maneuver people like that. And I totally agree, you know, with Democrat agent Gautamaya, you know, that it's it'll be unconscionable and wrong. Now, he likewise mentioned that he does support a detailed cost similar to what the problem solver caucus proposition was. He stated that he likes that 
it would not run the risk of leaving any one group out of the deal, you know, because it seems like that's, that's what they're trying to do. Everybody wants their hand in this. They, everybody wants to be mentioned. The Democrats want to be mentioned. The Republicans want to be mentioned as the one who actually brought forth the deal. No one wants to be left out. So it's all a popularity thing, you know? I mean, simply do an offer. That's it. Just do an offer and agree on it. And that's all this incorporate. I agree. You know, I believe that again, you guys listening to this know if there is any predisposition here, you know, if, if there's like the problem solved his proportion proposal if you agree with it but you know if it doesn't go anywhere then what what is what's it all about you know let's get to extensive let's get the extensive cause done you know okay so now agent reed on the republican side from new york he said the problem solve his proposal was 1.5 trillion dollars and it was built on data and the real needs of the american people you know now remember they investigated for over a month to come up with those numbers you know it wasn't just pulled out of thin air and out of the hat you know it was actual information that they actually evaluate and he is saying that he thinks that there needs to be something right in the neighborhood of 1.7 trillion dollars however in no way would his party choose 2.2 trillion which nancy pelosi and all of them are asking for you know he's even come to to 200 billion from the problem solvers caucus proposition and now president trump has come up with that 200 billion so they're right in the neighborhood of 1.8 trillion nancy pelosi still asking for 2.2 what what's the use what's the use when the numbers have been ran and we finding that 1.7 1.8 is all they need for the people she's trying to bail out states so she's trying to get that extra but you know i think we're getting really really close now representative reed you know from new york he stated he believes mnuchin and pelosi are actually truly near to striking a deal if they would simply listen to each other and i agree you know i believe that uh they simply need to quit thinking of their own celebration you know and think of the american people now we continue by saying a comprehensive cost ensures that cash goes to lots of locations and not simply one market you know he said it will conserve hundreds of thousands of american tech american jobs that could be in jeopardy today if absolutely nothing is done and i completely agree with that also now representative reed stated he thinks that trump's start and stop of settlements and negotiations this week was actually simply a signal for both parties to put forward their best offer and seal the deal you know reed ended up by stating that if they end up if they end the legal process which is just another way of stating the legal wording of the bill itself you know we're actually writing the bill he feels that it can get done and voted on soon you know like within three days trump will be signing it after they come up with the wording for the bill he then said this concept of representatives coming back within 24 hours to vote is actually genuine you know it was excellent to hear him validate that also all right now this is my update you know for today depending on when you're hearing this you know as i know more i'll share more you know i'm not exactly sure if i'll come on you know all the way up through next weekend because i'm looking forward to this thing being done you know we'll see you know i just like to do these updates if there's actually something genuine to share you know otherwise i'll be back tomorrow you know i'll be back the next day but if i do come back just understand that i'm coming back to you genuine i'm gonna let you know exactly what's going on as i read and get this information i'm gonna let you in our community i'm gonna let y'all know what's happening i'm not gonna clickbait you i'm not gonna come on here and you know promise you something that didn't happen you know, I'm gonna just be straight up with you. And I just have to thank you. You know, I mean, I provide a heartfelt thank you for all of you liking these videos. You know, um, I put a great deal of effort and time into getting these actually these videos done. And it's my absolute satisfaction to do the research for you. Because I know like y'all, a, a lot of y'all just tired of, you know, especially when you hit when you see these videos talking about, hey, deal done, and then you get into the video and they sitting talking about, man, a deal wasn't done. So I know a lot of you are tired of that and you just want to hear that actual genuine update on what's happening. You know, I truly value you all in my community support me as i do these updates and as i share you know all these money ideas and what's happening you know or attempt to simply keep the, just the environment the, you know positive what what you're thinking right now you know just trying to come and give you some positive updates you know but i'm gonna be true with it if it's not positive i'm gonna tell you the truth but if it's positive you know i just want you to keep your head up and keep your attitude you know in check during these difficult times you know it's been a wait you know finally i just want to remind you that y'all in my community y'all winners you know what i'm saying and please don't ever forget that no matter what the country going through just know that y'all winners and i appreciate y'all being in our community this is our community you know what i'm saying and i'll see you on the next video i value you if you're listening to this i value you you know what i'm saying and thank you for subscribing now every part of the country is simply seeing different things going on right now so you got something happening in the south that's totally opposite of what's happening in the north on the east coast you know how y'all going
you know what I'm saying? Leave in the comments what your city's doing, you know, what your state's doing. You know, anyhow, you know, I wish to remind you that you, if you listen to this, man, no matter what's happening in the, in your, in, in your state, you know, and no matter what's happening in the country, no matter, you know, all these political parties, you know, fighting and bickering, you know what I'm saying? We looking like, man, can't y'all just get together, just come together and just do a deal, forget whatever. I know you're looking at that, but I just want you to know, man, that you are a winner. You know what I'm saying? Woman, you're a winner. If you listen to this, you know, ensure to take a look at, you know what I'm saying, the newest video that I released the other day, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I was talking about the, the book of uh, Think and Grow Rich, you know, and how it affected, you know, my life, how it helped me view some things to just know that I'm a winner, you know what I'm saying? Throughout some of the hardest times, financial times, you know, it was a book that kind of showed me how to just continue you know what I'm saying? I value you if you're listening to this. I value you. You know what I'm saying? And thank you for subscribing to the community. And I'll see you in the next video.